Good stuff. All right, pick your perfect bouquet of flowers while relaxing and on a family farm. We're checking back in with Big Al, who's live at Dutch Hollow Farms where it's sunflower season. Let me tell you, you leave the bees alone, they leave you alone. Hey, don't mess with the bees. Bees won't mess with you. <laughs> that's right. That's, that's rule number one, two, three, four, and five. You know what? The thing is, I love coming out to Dutch Hollow Farms. I get to talk to Farmer John one, but also... You know, usually I'm like taller and bigger than the people that I interview. Wow. But here, like when I come to the farm, I'm little Al. I'm little Al. And so it's Farmer John and the sunflowers. These plants are like, I think like nine feet tall. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. It, we have so many different varieties here. We have some that are kind of short, obviously. But, yeah, we have some of these big ones that still have yet to bloom yet. Yeah, you know what? That's, um, I, I got also, Tina, I'm learning a lot of stuff. Uh, mm. Plant tips with Farmer John. Help me. How hard is it to, to maintain sunflowers? Or people like to cut the sunflowers. But is there a certain technique, a certain way you do it? Yes. Uh, I, would, I would always suggest that, especially if you want the longevity of the sunflower. Like we have a great example over here. Okay. <laughs> and this one is still partially opened. That's the one you want to be picking because oh. all the life is still here yet, the bright color of the sunflower. The other thing is, is people tend to pick them short. Always pick them long because you can always okay. make them shorter at home to fit your vase. Okay. So I would always suggest try and cut them as long as possible. And so obviously the sunflowers are there, but also... The other area, the, the, the gladiolas, is that what, what yes. it's called? Yes, the gladiolas. Gladiolas, yes. That is, that is a new thing for us this year. I'm and, learning, I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm excited about that one because I would venture to say we're the only farm in the state of California that is doing you pick gladiolas. Mm. And so it's new to us this year. I've never grown them before, and they look absolutely phenomenal. But by next weekend, they're going to be cranking out, and it's, it's an affordable thing. We always talk about inflation, inflation, inflation. When for $10, you can pick 10 stems out here, wow. Well, wow. It's, it's super affordable for people to do. You know what? I'm, I'm already sensing, like, the, uh, obviously, it's early in the morning, and the nature's out. I saw some hummingbirds kind of floating around there. <laughs> so it's, it's perfect time to make it happen, right? This is a place for you to come and relax. You're away from the rest of the world and all the craziness of it. And if you really want to bring your blood pressure down, this is this is the place to come. This is the place to come, man. Keep real calm, real chill, hang with nature, and stay away from the bees. That'll keep your blood pressure down for sure. Hey, right here at Dutch Hollow Farm, all you got to do is uh, check out the information on the screen. Just come on down. Everything starts at 9 o'clock today. And uh, maybe you can get some uh, sunflower kisses while you're at it. Be all good. Back over to you guys. Sounds good, Al. Nice and peaceful on the yes. Sunday. I want to see those pictures on your Instagram. Big Al Sams. A Rolling Stones just played a show.